Good morning. I am not wearing any Me Maids right now because I am going to be working on making a dress today and I wanted to wear something that I can just easily take off and then try on the dress as I'm making it. So I am wearing a Lazy Bones uh, top that I got. It is quite a thin summer top and I was very disappointed when I got it because the seams under the arms and all the way down started to come apart as soon as I wore it. So they started to pull. Um, and it just shows you the difference between buying something that's um, made in you know mass production and um, this was, you know, this was heavily discounted, so I think they already knew that there was faults with this. But the stitching, the fabric is just so thin, and the way that they stitched it together, it just, it just pulled. And it's, it's loose around me, and it's, you know, I can move. It's not that it's too small on me and it's pulling, it's just that they didn't put it together properly, I guess. And when you make things yourself, you can make sure that all of the way that you put something together, the fabric that you choose, the way, the construction of the making of it, all of those things put together mean you get a garment that will last for ages and ages. Um, so I've done a lot of um, patch mending on this top, which is a bit of fun actually. I didn't want to take it back because I knew it would just end up in landfill so I just prefer to keep it. I love the fabric, it's gorgeous. Um, so I'm just going to throw over my cardigan, probably my Felix cardigan today while I take my kids to their morning activity. Then I'm leaving them there and my friend's going to pick them up and they're going to spend the day with their friends at my friend's house. <laughs> So um, I'm going to do some sewing. It is very, it's a very grey, dull day outside today. So a nice day to spend some time inside and do some sewing. And I'm kind of a really enthusiastic about it. I've got to package up some orders this morning before we leave. So I'm going to do a little bit of a tidy up and package orders this morning before we head off to. Um, deliver my children to their art class and um, then to my friend's house. So yeah, I will get on with packaging the orders. that I have a sale on for the whole month of May on my Etsy shop so the link is in the description below I also have some organic cotton fabrics for sale so these are um, poplin fabrics this one's the coyote one this one's memory lane and then pastel flowers. Uh, this is landscapes. And I can't remember the name of this one. <laughs> I've made a dress out of this one. It's really lovely. Um, so I've got, and I've, I think I've got a couple more as well um, on uh, for sale, and they're on special as well this month. I've just been cutting up some that have sold this week that I'm posting out. I've also got some off cuts like this piece here that I will be popping up um, for sale as well. Just pieces that I um, 
wanting to move on I've got many bolts of these fabrics and I want to get new fabrics in for new um, handkerchiefs and um, other products so I am trying to move on the old and bring in some new but I can't bring in the new yet until I make room if you'd like to grab some organic cotton fabric that's really lovely fantastic quality fabric I have got them on for sale on my shop so check it out below I've also got embroidery kits and some cute little kits like these on my Etsy shop that are on sale as well. I try to supply items that are plastic free, as plastic free as possible. So this is in cardboard, it's got wood and a little bit of plastic there, but I guess you have to see what you're buying. Um, these ones are in plastic, but they're really cute little kits if anyone's interested. They're cute little gift ideas as well. These are little embroidery kits. I also have a sale on my knitting patterns in Etsy. And I'm about to set up a sale on Ravelry as well. So you can head to either Etsy or Ravelry to get my knitting patterns as well. So I will set up a sale in Ravelry for um, the knitting patterns. And thank you for those who have already purchased this month on Ravelry and Etsy. It really helps me in my small business here. Also, thank you so much for being here and for all your beautiful comments on this vlogging month. I've really enjoyed bringing you this content. Um, showing you a little bit of the day to day and along with answering some of your questions and um, if you have any more questions I know someone has asked to see the house and what our house is made of we made our house out of recycled brick it was a little bit more expensive to build but we were really passionate about using something that was already made but it was cheaper than going down say like the mud brick um, build and we just didn't have time ourselves to build this house ourselves so we contracted a builder and we did certain things and are still doing certain things ourselves like the woodwork and and the um, painting and um, skirting and all that so we're still chipping away at building our house and we are currently doing internal renovations on the kids' bedrooms and then we will be doing the kitchen. I love the little kitchen that my dad and my partner Latham built but it gets really really dusty and so I'm looking forward to having drawers and cupboards and not just having the open shelves. Um, it just it's, With the wood fire oven it just gets really dirty and dusty so I might take you on a little tour of what we've done so far with the kids rooms we've built lofts but uh, probably reserve that for maybe tomorrow or Sunday um, today is studio day <laughs>
just past one o'clock and um, art class was cancelled because of due to sickness. So um, we ended up doing some school work, which was good. I'm heating myself up some soup. And going to have some lunch before I get into the sewing. But actually, no, I need to clean my kitchen first. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put together a stew for tonight. I have got all these tiny little onions that I grew, some potatoes we grew, and some garlic. And I'm just browning up a lamb shoulder from one of the lambs raised on our farm. And I'm going to put this together with a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, some beef stock, and whatever else I think of, I will let you know. Okay, so I just put in some flour, tomato paste, bay leaves and thyme with the Worcestershire sauce and the uh, vegetable herb stock. And now I'm just going to let that cook for an hour or so and then I will chop up the lamb shoulder into cubes and cook it for a little bit longer. Okay, I have got a cup of tea and a piece of the muesli bar slice that I made last night. Let's get sewing. So you can tell completely that I am a vegetarian because I didn't even know what the uh, cut of meat I was using was, but I've just been informed by my husband that it is a short loin, a boned short loin. <laughs> so there you go. It's a bit too small for a shoulder, obviously. So it is cooking very nicely. I'm going to take it out now and cut the meat into cubes. The dress is also coming out really nicely, but slowly. Um, I'm hoping to work on it for the next couple of hours before everybody comes home for dinner and probably into tomorrow as well or another day next week. But a fun fact about me, um, I just have this knack for knowing exactly how much rice and how much water to put in a pot. It only really seems to work with brown rice though because we only eat brown rice. But I just pour in the rice and I just pour in the water and just when it feels right, it's enough. It's perfect <laughs> and it turns out great every time. Fingers crossed it will continue to do that now that I've said it out loud. We're going to have rice with the stew. <laughs> 